Hi, this is Glenda. Uh, this time I'm making flowers and I had this article from 1986 and I really liked the way they had curled the petals and I just thought they looked so pretty and I didn't want to make big flowers. I, was, I thought I'd do the petals and make a flatter flower. I started doing it according to their instructions and it was way too fiddly for me. I just didn't have it in me. So I've come up with my own version and I have not seen anybody do anything quite like this. This is the first one I did and it's my favourite. Uh, it uses wired ribbon and the different ribbons behave differently. So these are all wired ribbon but um, the white one had probably the, the most fragile ribbon in it so the curls have sort of come quite loose. This one you can probably see what I've done the most but you can see that there's little spirals on each petal so I hope that shows up. Um, so I'll show you what I've done. Um, I've made a couple of petals already. I've, for all of these I used a six inch length of ribbon but um, for this one that I've just done here I used a five inch length. So it's not going to affect the size of your flower, it's only going to affect how much fabric you have in your spiral. So if you want a really loose spiral, you probably want an even shorter length of ribbon. So all I'm going to do is fold it in half and pinch it on one side. Then you sort of open it out and you sort of make a little hoodie for it almost. You're going to just bend it so it looks like that. And then you want something to roll it round. I tried just rolling it up for the first ones and when I started using a skewer or something like that they were coming up a lot tighter for me. Um, so you're just going to roll it up towards this, tri this yeah, triangle. You do that on both sides. And just finish rolling it. And then you're going to bring both of these up to this point here. So you've got a little piece like that. So you've got your two bits there and you've got this petal piece down here. And you need six of those although you could possibly get away with five. Have a play. So we're going to fold it in half, fold it down to make our little hoodie and roll up the arms. Should have only done one on camera, it worked a lot better. Okay, let's roll it up and then bring those two rolled pieces up to the middle. And then we've got our two circles and our petal. So then I just took another piece of the same ribbon so it would all match. You could do it on a circle or something, but with this sheer fabric I prefer to have um, the matching fabric. And for all of them except this one I glued it with the curls down. So I'm going to put my glue on the curl side and then just attach it. No I didn't. I did them with the curls up. <laughs> don't even know what I've done myself. Okay, so with the curls on top, we're going to stick our petals down. <laughs> so I just did them opposite and then squeeze the other two in on each side.
that's it. So for this one, where I stuck the curls down instead of up, you end up with these the petals that you can curl in if you like. So that's a completely different look. Um, and then for this one, to make the centre, because you're using um, wired ribbon, you can just take a length of ribbon, pull out one of the wires, and then the other wire, you just start gathering Pull it out a little bit, bend it, and then get the other end before it escapes. Just gather your fabric along it. And perhaps go back to the first end once you're sure that's not going to come out. Depending how long you've made your ribbon, you can either pull it tight and just put it in the middle, or you can overlap it, get your wire down the back, and overlap it. Fasten the wires at the back. the excess wire I should have either had a longer or a shorter piece for that I just grabbed a bit and then put a flower center in the middle um, but that, that one is a longer length. Sorry, battery ran out again. Um, so anyway, that's how you make that little flower. And as I said, I haven't seen anyone do quite the same as that. And the other thing I've been doing is these shaggy flowers. Completely different. Um, when I say I've been doing, I've made two. Because I picked up this crazy wool at our local reject shop. And it just lends itself to flowers. So you, yeah, I just stuck it round on a circle and hot glued it. Um, wrapped it round and round and I may or may not put a center in depending what I end up doing with them but because it's got the different colors in the wool if you choose your piece you can end up with it um, multicolored flower so that's that's what I'm doing today is uh, flowers so that's another of the blast from the past old ideas made new thanks for watching